Obituary went on a hiatus, you know, between 98, 2004-ish, around in there. Uh, mainly because we were getting older. We had been doing that since we were teenagers, basically playing in a band and touring and making albums. And go, like uh, John got married and stuff like that started happening. You know, we were like, maybe we should just be normal working jobs and start having children that kind of started happening <laughs> so we kind of did that you know and after about six years of it we were like i think it's time to go back to being abnormal <laughs> and being a band again so we uh got back together 2004 ish 2003 really i think we started kind of getting together 2004 yeah because 2005 is when frozen came out so yeah 2004 a band catastrophic i did uh we put on an album i think 2000 yeah 2000 2001 i can't remember the year but uh it was a bunch of dudes from long island some of them played in a band called pyrexia before it all started before andrew wk was he was just getting signed to i think island records uh, the guy who was managing him, this guy named Trevor Simser, he was uh, from Brandon, where I'm from, where all of us are from. Well, not Ken's from Orlando, but one day, I was living in Nashville, actually, and um, out of the blue, he just calls me. It was when Obituary wasn't together anymore. I think it was around 2000, or I was doing Catastrophic at the time, actually. We had just put out an album, 2000, 2001. This guy, Trevor, calls me out of the blue. I hadn't talked to him in years, and um, he was like, hey, there's this guy that... Island Def Jam is going to totally promote, and they're dumping all kinds of money into him, and he loves obituary, and he'd love you to play guitar on this project. And he's, so he sent me a bunch of demos and stuff, and I listened to it, and I really wasn't interested. Plus, I was doing catastrophic, you know, I was touring, and so I didn't do it. You know, I was like, ah, I'm not really into it, you know. <laughs> and um, so Donald, he wasn't doing anything at the time, so I turned him on to Donald, gave him Donald's number, said, hey, call up Donald, maybe he'll be into it. So... Then Donald jumped in, and they kind of took it off from there, you know. First, Kim was actually teching. Kim was uh, guitar teching. Actually, that Ken guitar tech for obituary as well, you know, for a while. And uh, so, yeah, uh, those other dudes from Orlando area, where Ken's from, that were playing, and he was teching. And actually, Rich Russo, he's on the tour with us. He's our uh, drum tech. He was teching for him. He ended up playing drums for Andrew after a while. Ken ended up playing guitar, you know. Just different people kind of went in and out, you know. It's pretty funny didn't change anybody's lives that much you know i mean they did some cool stuff like playing snl <laughs> that's pretty funny but now nah, I, 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 I love playing metal and extreme shit and Uh, the title Redneck Stomp. Yeah. Uh, I think because of the beat, it does a do, do, do. You know, the way it starts, in a, or not way, it starts in the middle. There's a part that, in uh, Alan West, he said, man, it's like a redneck stomping. Like, you know, like some kind of southern, like, blues player, maybe. I don't know. So that's probably where that title came from. I don't really know why. There's no lyrics, obviously, in it.